What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a weakness policy Ice Fighter Calyrex team that also features a Soul Vest Resurant team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, let's go get on top of that scroll down a little bit click that big red subscribe button it really goes a long way and it helps you guys stay up to date on all of my content considering pokemon scarlet and violet comes out in less than a week and we're going to be bringing you guys some content so hopefully you guys are excited for that one but before we get started here with today's team preview want to give a huge shout out to the team creator dragonair jordan thank you so much for dming me over on twitter and leaving me this rental code cannot wait to use it and cannot wait to rock out with it on the rank ladder but with that out the way let's get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner with the one and only mimikyu and i love this pokemon i love its disguise ability i just think it's all around a great pokemon to use it's got the mental herb as its item and it's rocking safeguard willow wisp shadow sneak for stab and for first turn prior and then it's got Trick Room for its fourth and final move. Second Pokemon on today's team, it's going to be Blastoise. And I love Blastoise. We used him in one of our recent videos, and he just dominated it. It's got Torrent alongside with the Wakan Berry as its item. It's got Fake Out, Mist, Hydro Cannon, and Blizzard for its final move. Middle left is going to be Ice Rider Calyrex over here, and everybody knows this Pokemon is dominant in Trick Room. Super strong, hits like a truck, plus this one has the weakness policy, so if that gets proc, it's pretty much GG's. It has Glacial Lance, High Horsepower, Protect, and Trick Room. Everything's fairly normal for this Calyrex setup. Middle right is going to be Regiram over here. And I haven't used Regiram in a good bit, but definitely a fun Pokemon and a really cool Pokemon all around. It's got Turbo Blaze as its ability. Alongside with that, Assault Vest as its item. It's got Fusion Flare, Earth Power, Draco Meter, and Solar Beam for an amazing moveset. I absolutely love that moveset right there. It just looks so powerful. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Thunders over here. And this Thunders is like... Half and half. It's half support and half attacking. It's got the life orb, but then it has prankster ability. And then it's got eerie impulse and thunder wave for that prankster side. And then it's got rising voltage and weather ball for that more so attacking side with the life orb. Final Pokemon on today's team is Incineroar. But this Incineroar has a focus ash. A focus ash. I've never used an Incineroar with focus ash. So hopefully that comes in clutch and we get to use that sash and kind of clutch up some battles with it. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that Series 14 ladder, look to get some wins with this Ice Rider Calyrex and Regiram team. First match coming at you guys, and I've been seeing this team actually go across YouTube as of recently. This is a Hoenn-only team, rocking with uh, Groudon, Kyogre, and then he's got Latios, Metagross, Ludicolo, which if I had to guess is probably Swift Swim Ludicolo, and then Ninjask over here. Ninja has scared me a little bit. I know it has speed boost, but I don't really know what else it could do from there. It could have bat and pass. I know it learns bat and pass, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I know about it, I should say. But uh, how should I play this one? How should Jeans lead? This Trick Room could be a good option for us. I could get Mimikyu alongside with maybe like Thunderous here. I feel like that's a solid lead. We could pop Trick Room pretty easily with that. Then kind of go from there. But that's not bad at all. And then if he is going, uh, I could Dynamax too if he goes Kyogre and like Mimikyu. But yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Mimikyu, I'm going to go Thunders, and then I'm going to rock into Calyrex and Resuran for the first battle. I'm taking that a lot. I really do like that. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But before battle number one starts, you guys got to head down to the comment section down below. Let me know for question of the day. How do you think rank battles will be in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Do you guys think they're going to be good? Do you guys think they're going to get old quick? Let me know your guys' answer in the comment section down below. For me, I think it's going to be so versatile, and I think you can just do endless things with terrestrialization. So I think it's going to be really, really good. But he's going to end up going with Metagross and Ludicolo. So I'm going to pop a Trick Room here. And I don't think I'm going to Dynamax. He might Dynamax. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to pop a Trick Room here. I do not really want to proc this policy, and I'm just going to drop a nice little Rising Voltage. Do I do it into Ludicolo slot? I think Ludicolo slot's probably better. I feel like he might Dynamax uh, Metagross here. I feel like he might. I feel like he might. As long as he doesn't double down to my Mimikyu, I feel like we could be fine. But if he does double down to my Mimikyu, it could be rough. I think I had to burn that that uh, Metagross next turn. But Rising Bolts comes out here. There's a nice little chunk of damage. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for an Icy Wind. Oh, no. Mimikyu's dead, isn't he? Mims, you're dead, aren't you? Mimikyu's dead. Yo, Mims, can you somehow eat this up, please? Thank you very much. Just one, please. There goes my disguise. Oh, no. I don't even want to look. Meteor Mash coming in hot. Or whatever iron move he's rocking. Iron Head. Eat this. Oh, Mimikyu, I love you. Do not flinch. 
Oh my god, Mimikyu, you are amazing! You are amazing, thank you, Mimikyu. So huge play from Mimikyu here. We just burn that, uh... We just throw a nice little will o server on him. And then we pop another Rise of Voltage. I'm all about it. I'm all about it, because one of my Pokemon should be going down this turn. But let's see how Mimikyu fares on that speed board now. Because Metagross might just go first at this point. Yeah, Metagross, uh, he has Bull Punch anyway. So they Bull Punch me, he takes me out. Okay, so no burn, I'm kind of fine with that. I don't think Ludicolo can take out my Thunders. Maybe it can. Maybe it's Rocket Magic Pump. We'll see. Oh no, we outspeed regardless. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. How did, What was his speed last turn? Did it go first? I think it might have. I totally forget what move it used. I really do. But we end up taking him out. And now I get to bring out... Dun -dun -dun -dun. Do I bring out you? Or do I bring out Cali? I think I bring out... Reggie here. I think Reggie would be better in this situation. And the only reason I say that is because Metagross counters up onto uh Metagross counters up onto uh Kallax. I don't think Kallax can take it out in one shot, so I might as well go into that. Then I can just eerie impulse that slot. Ooh, that's kinda scary though, that Pokemon. That Pokemon right there is kinda scary. I definitely have to uh change weather. So I'm gonna Dynamax Reggie and pop a flare. And then I'm just going to go into a do I eerie impulse that or do I rise a voltage? Let me see your speed. Just speed, Thunderous. Gotta be faster than Kyogre, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to eerie impulse that thing. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna eerie impulse it. Put it to minus two. Help us out a little bit. See, so yeah, I'm gonna eerie impulse, change up weather, kind of go from there. Just roll out from there. So we'll see what he wants to do. It's actually gonna be really close. Kyogre kind of came in there at the perfect time. Screwed me over. But, but again, we still have Kylox in the back end. We have a decent amount of Shurikum turns left. I think we should be thriving pretty well here. As long as my Rush Ram goes first before the Kyogre, which it should. It's like 111 speed, which is kind of slow. Let's see what he does. He ends up protecting Metagross. That's fine. I'm kind of only going after his change of weather. Let's see how he plays this one. Aerie Impulse is going to fly. He's probably going for a Water Spout, if I had to guess, which would take out my Thunderous. And we get to go first, which is beautiful. So we get to change up weather. That's huge. We can neglect some of the water spout damage. And then we kind of roll off from there. So do I go for another flare next turn? I think that would be my best option. Gotta see what Pokemon he has. Because I feel like any Pokemon that he swaps into is going to take some big damage from a flare. From a rush ring in the heat. That procs weakness policy, which is kind of scary. We might Dynamax from there. But we'll see. I might actually uh, I guess for the water spout. And yeah, we eat pretty well. Beautiful. So we eat it pretty well. Do I start paralyzing Pokemon? Let me see who we can possibly swap into. Who could you possibly swap into, kind sir? You have Groudon, you have Latios. I feel like you could swap into Groudon, but that's not going to fare too well. To the shot. So yeah, I'm just going to go into another flare. And I doubt you swap. I feel like you stay in here. But I'm just going to Thunder Wave. Uh, I'm just going to start paralyzing these Pokemon. I'm just going to start paralyzing. Yep, there's Dynamax. There is a Dynamax. I doubt it's Kyogre because Kyogre is already minus two, but we shall see. That Metagross is scaring me, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely scaring me, it's plus two. So hopefully we can land this Thunder Wave and it can be paralyzed for a turn, because that would be amazing. That would be amazing. But I don't know if it can take out my... I mean, do, you, do we think it can take out my, my Regen Ram? I don't know, I feel like it's kind of close. But Thunder Wave's gonna fly here. Give me that Paralyze. Give it to me, yo. Give me some RNG here. Give me some RNG. Nope, RNG's no-go. Ends up dropping a Seal Spike into Thunders. I'm totally cool with that. I didn't even have to Thunder Wave him. I should've just Thunder Wave the... Uh, the Kyogre. We were just hoping on RG. I thought he was going to hit my Reggie. He gets the defense boost. We are special attacking, which is beautiful. We're going to be able to drop a big old max player. I think this should be able to KO, right? we going to do some big damage. Yeah, get him on out of here. Beautiful. So we get rid of Metagross. I'm all about it. And now, more importantly, Kyogre can't swap out. So it's going to stay minus two for the rest of the battle. Huge plays by us. Huge plays. And he doesn't have Dynamax. Goes for an Ice Beam. That's fine. We're able to eat. Can't be frozen because we're in that heat. And then uh, Kalyx is going to fly out here. We got Cali Cali. I could just send an overgrowth over into the Kyogre slot. But I'm pretty sure that this dude should cancel battle, right? Oh, no. I'm Glacial Lancing. I'm Glacial Lancing and then Max Overgrowth into the uh, Kyogre. All day. That's GG's. GG's. We got the Trick Room up, out and about. We got Regiran Dynamax. Got rid of his Dynamax Pokemon. And we're just thriving out from here. So, yeah. I'm just going to go for an overgrowth. I'm just going to pop a Glacial Lance on top of that. But I think your opponent canceled, right? Get him on out of here. See him run away. See him sending AO genes. Killed me this battle. I think he's going to give this a shot. 
let's see which he shouldn't like this is pretty obvious that we got this place, right i mean i don't think he knows my veteran's moves so i guess we'll see because he cannot take out my calyrex can he i feel like he can't Iger's doing nothing it's minus two and it's in the heat just doing nothing he stays in here glacial Land's gonna fly unless he has focus dash on latios that thing is gone he's gone but yo that move looks so sick the ice sword just looks amazing Palladios does not have that sash. We say see you later now. Let me get a chilling nay boost. My Reg Ram's gonna come out here and outspeed the Kyogre in the trick room. And it's just too easy. It's just too easy. Dominate and Sword and Shield at the end of Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield is almost gone. Like once Scarlet and Vile comes out here, I think I'm just gonna delete the game. Not even kidding with you. Free up some space on my hard drive because I will probably not touch this game until like five years, like another five years, and then come back and just do a playthrough of it. Like that would be the only time I would touch it, right? <laughs> I feel like it would. Like that would be the only time is when you, you just like miss the uh or you want to go back and like play through a game like that would be the only time i would touch this game again obviously i don't think i would ever touch the rank ladder again. or the casual ladder i would never hop on and play dynamax pokemon even though it was a lot of fun i did really enjoy it i did enjoy it but i'm just gonna pop a solar beam i'm gonna go into a higher horsepower this dude's definitely gonna cancel right it's time to cancel yep he canceled battle we start off one and oh let's hop through a second let's go back to back Second match coming at you guys, going up against one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, a Tyranitar team with Shadow Rider Calyrex. He's got OO -Oh and then Grimmsnarl, P2, and Ferrothorn. So he could definitely pop Trick Room. I feel like Trick Room he really values off of besides that Calyrex. But uh, how should I play this one? He's gonna go with Trick Room. I think I can just roll out with my Pokemon. Do I bring a Trick Room Pokemon? I could go like Incineroar Calyrex, which would be bad. Which wouldn't be bad. I don't mind that. So I can always protect the Calyrex. I can go into other do I do? We got Mims. I mean, Mimikyu is really strong here. The Mimikyu could either pop the Trick Room, or if you lead Shadow Rider Calyx, we just Shadow Sneak right into it. I think I'm all about. I think I'm all about. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna lead these. I think I might bring same squad. I might bring same squad. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I might not even pop Trick Room for turn one. It really depends on his lead. But if I'm not popping Trick Room, or if I don't feel like he's popping Trick Room, I'm gonna Dynamax my Thunders. We'll see what he wants to do. We shall see. Because if he leads Shadow Rider Calyx, I'm just going to start Shadow sneaking into it. Maybe protect my Thunders. Actually, we don't have Protect. I can go Max Guard. I can start Eerie Impulse. And I can do a good bit. I can do a good bit. But let's just see who he leads first. It's going to be these two. Oh, uh, I could pop a Trickin. I could go Trickin. Dude, Titar's so cool, man. I love that Pokemon. I might put him on my Scarlet and Bio team. Actually, they have a Futuristic form. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do that. Because he is so dope looking. I love that Pokemon. I could Will O Wisp here. Wouldn't be a bad Will O Wisp. I might actually do that. Hmm. That's still Dynamax Pokemon. I really pop a Trick Room Turn 1. I think I pop a Trick Room Turn 1. I'm gonna pop a Trick Room Turn 1. I feel like that's my plan. Then I'm just gonna start throwing status on the field. What am I doing? I just, I, 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 that was dumb. That was dumb. I don't even want to talk about that one. I don't even want to talk about that one. I don't want to talk about that. All right. I, I just don't want to talk about that. We're not going to, we're not going to talk about that one. All right. Cool. Move on. Fine. 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 I always do that every once in a while. Just don't even think about it. Just don't even think about it. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. It's all right. Buffets are going to fly through here. Mimikyu still has his disguise. Imagine I knocked off the disguise. That'd be OP. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. But, uh, okay. So, we're here. Uh, I am definitely going to throw a will right onto you. I could hard swap. I could go into Weather Ball. It's changing the rock. But I'd rather go for a Rising Voltage. Chip up some damage over here. I don't think T-Tar might even Dynamax. Let me send up the screens, man. Yo, chill on me. Next turn might be a turn to swap. Not even lying. Churn's going to come out here. Bop. Take off my disguise. That's fine. We're throwing a nice little burn onto that Pokemon. We're gonna burn him up. Hopefully he's not lumberry. I really hope he's not lumbed. Will of us flies. No lumberry. Show me no berry. Show me no lummy. Don't lum me. Don't you dare lum me. Cool. It's not lumberry. I feel like a lot of T-Tars are lumberry. Rise of Voltage flies. He's just killing it with the screens. Um. My heart's on my Mims. My heart's on my Mimikyu here. He's going for Assurance. I am going to swap into my Calyrex. 
I think that's a smart play for me. And then from here, I just stay in here and just start, you know, just throw, throwing Rising Bolt into the Dark Dimension Ocelot. Slowly chipping up some damage. But yeah, I have to get out either Cadillac or Reshram here. Get off the Dynamax while Trick Room is still in effect. Kind of just start getting some work done. Ball battle. So we have a nice lovely burn on, on a physical attack, which is huge. Let's see how he plays this one. Let's see. I kind of want him to proc my weakness policy so I can just Dynamax him. Let's see. Oh, dude, Stealth Rocks. <laughs> I hate Stealth Rocks. Here comes the insurance. Look at that. Look at that read by us. We proc weakness policy. We might not Dynamax at this point. I think this. Do we think this thing has Sucker Punch? I do not think it has Sucker Punch. I do not think it has Sucker Punch. But we make a great read for him going into insurance for a super effective shot. We have weakness policy proc now. And foul place. Don't you dare go into my Calyrex. Okay, thank you. I was going to say, don't you dare go into my Calyrex on that one. All right, from here, we're just going to... I'm not even going to Dynamax. I'm going to save my Dynamax. Definitely save my Dynamax. I feel like from here, it's just an easy Glacial Lance. I feel like we just start Glacial Lancing throughout this whole thing. Glacial Lance. And then we drop a... Rise of Voltage? We're going to double down in this slot. But I feel like Glacial Lance should be able to KO. Protect Sitar. Glacial Lance should be able to KO the Grimmy Grim. He tricks me first. How dare you? What are you giving me? Lagging Tail? What are you doing? What, what item are you giving me, dude? Full incense. It's okay. It's Trick Room. We're in a Trick Room. And, you, and I already used my weakness policy. <laughs> I already used my weakness policy. Thank you very much. So this should take him out, right? Cool. We're plus three now. We're plus three. So as long as he doesn't bring out somebody with a first turn priority move, or somebody slower, maybe like P2, we should be fine. Should be fine. I'm kind of hoping he brings out a special attacker just so I can really impulse it. But I might just uh, start paralyzing it and just throw stash conditions around. We'll see. It really depends what Pokemon he brings out. But yo, let's go. Calyrex thriving out here. Plus three. If I get off one more Glacial Lands, I'll be super happy. I'll be stoked. Let's see what he brings out here. It is going to be P2. And do I paralyze it? He's too scaring me, man. He's scaring me. He's got Prankster now. He's got Prankster. He's a Prankster, dude. I would love to get off the shot. I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to Eerie Impulse it. I mean, no, he's probably rocking foul play, right? Let me Thunder Wave it. I'm going to Thunder Wave P2. See what I can do with that. Maybe we can get some RNG on our side. Have him be paralyzed this turn, just so we get off another Glacial Lance. Because if he hits me with a foul play, I'm dead. Paralyzed comes out here. He gets off the foul play. Yeah. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. That's all I wanted was, was one more Glacial Lance. I said it to you guys. I said if we can get one more Glacial Lance, Jeans can be thriving out here. He goes for assurance. That's going to pick up the kill. And do I only have one Pokemon left? Mims is dead, right? Oh no, Mims is still on the field. Mims is still here. Mims came to play. So we got paralyzed. We got all that good stuff. He still has T-Tar. He still has one Pokemon in the back end. I do not think he found Max T-Tar. But Reflects are gone, which is huge. But we need uh, Light Screen to be gone. We do need Light Screen to be gone. And I feel like we just Dynamax at this point, right? Get Reggie Reg out here. Hmm. The Miku can't do too much to that P2, so... P2 is going to be annoying. And oh my god, yo, Stealth Rocks. Hate this game. <laughs> stealth Rocks doing me dirty. <laughs> Chill on me, Stealth Rocks. Chill on me. Alright, so we have that thing paralyzed. I think it's a safe play to just go into like a Mech's Quake here. And start teeing off on this thing. So I'm going to Quake and... I guess we'll safeguard. I mean, does he have any status condition moves? I mean, I'll try to trick him again. Just depending on that last Pokemon. Oh, this one's tough. This, one, this, is a, this is a tough battle. Yo, P2's doing me dirty. P2's low-key, like, super strong, which is kind of weird because it's, like, it's not a final evolution. But it's P2. I think it's a dog. He's a dog. He's a dog. But we finally decided to uh, Dynamax Resram. Kind of caught us off guard with that P2 there with the foul play. We would have been thriving. Like I said, if we could have gotten off one more Glacial Lance, we would have been sitting in a really good spot. But we do not. He's going to ally switch. Ah, aight. Aight. It's fine, I guess. It's fine, I guess. Quake's gonna fly out here. He's just protecting his T-Tar. I'm not gonna do too much damage. Maybe I should set the heat. Yo, P2 bulky. Why is he so bulky? Why P2 so bulky? You know what? I'm gonna go after the P2. I'm gonna start going after the P2. Let's see how this one plays out. Rock Tomb's gonna fly here. How dare you hit me with Rock Tomb? It's gonna lower my speed. But, but we are Papa Trick Room, so. Trick Room should be here for pretty much the rest of the game. I'm gonna start tackling onto that P2 slot. 
I'm gonna flare into that P2 slot and I'm just gonna start shadow sneaking into the T car. Ice Cream's gone too. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, flare. Let's get it done. Shadow sneak right into you. Please do not ally switch again. Don't do me dirty. Start attacking me. Throw an ice beam at me, foul play. I don't care. Who's he protecting? T tar. That's fine. I'm going after the uh, Porygon slot now. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. We're going after P2 now. What's he going for here? A foul play. Should be able to eat that up, Mimi. Oh, you soaked that up all day. Good work, Mimi. Good work, Mimi. Flares flies out here. The light screen is going to. Lovely damage. Lovely damage. I'm targeting down that P2 again. Or do we read now? I switch into the P2. Could read now? I switch into the P2. Because I feel like he wants to waste out my dynamite turns. I'm going to read the ally switch here. You want to play games with me? I'm reading the ally switch all day. I am reading this ally switch. He's doing it. There's no doubt in my mind. Dude, he's going to do it, but he's going to be paralyzed. It's, this one's going to hurt. Let's see. Recovers. Oh. Bad play by jeans. We could have picked up the KO there. Bad, bad read by jeans. Real bad read by jeans. Real bad read by jeans. Trying to get a little too fancy for you guys. It's all good. Flare flies through here. That's decent damage to the T-Tar. Um, he's gonna is he gonna ally switch now? Assurance gonna fly through here. Can you eat that Mims? He's burned. Let's go, Mims. Eating up all day, baby. Eating up all day. Oh, dude, I hate this Mimikyu. Or not the Mimikyu, but I hate this P2 right now. <laughs> this P2's mad annoying. Alright, we do have this. We do have a lovely little fusion flare. I would love the drop. I guess we'll shadow sneak in this, but he's gonna ally switch this turn. Dude's in my head. He's in my head. That's the thing that sucks about ally switch. Once they use it once, it's in your head the whole time. You're like, are they gonna ally switch? Are they gonna ally switch? Try to, do I read the ally switch? Do I not read the ally switch? Just such a good move. Let's see. Let's see what he does from here. So we would have read that last turn. That could have been huge. That could have been easy double kill. He does not. Okay, cool. He does not. You do this. Can he be paralyzed this turn? Please. Thank you. He's still not paralyzed. Hurting the soul. Can you eat this up, Mims? Mims is soaking. Fusion Flyer flying through here. Sending it. Send it. Look at this move. This move's sick. Does it KO? Does not KO. But, dude, this thing is so due for paralyzed. Rock Team's gonna fight, and he does not pick up the KO onto my Mimikyu. I like that. Lowers my speed, but again, we still have a few turns left in Trick Room. Burn's gonna chip away. He could ally switch here. I feel like we just have to go into safe moves. Hmm. I think we just have the fusion flare again, right? We have the fusion flare again. I guess I'll go into another shadow sneak. He recovers, yeah. We have the fusion flare again, just in case he recovers. Ah, this game, this game, this game. How much HP does he get? We, can we pick up the KO on that? It's gonna be kind of close. But we need Regiram to KO the uh, P2. That's the only way we win. The only way we win. Maybe, like, maybe if the Paralyzed would work. Like, this thing's been Paralyzed for six years at, at this point now. And it hasn't lost one turn to it. Give me a crit. Just KO it. Hurt soul. Trick Room's gone. So we waste out the Trick Room. Uh, we are faster than now. He's gonna throw out his final Pokemon, which is going to be Ho-Oh. Oh. Uh, I don't think we can really do too much on against Ho-Oh. What do I do? What do I do? I think he's gotta be paralyzed at this point. Good ally switch. Uh we go for a trick room. I'm gonna go for a trick room. If we can get this off, this could be nice for us. This thing hasn't lost a turn yet. Oh, he still has Dynamax! Oh! Never mind, this game's over with. I would have quit this battle 10 years ago if I knew he had Dynamax. That's ugly. That is real ugly. I'm sitting here like, dude, we have a chance. We don't have a chance. <laughs> he still has Dynamax. I hate when I forget that. Rough one. There's the Paralyzed, finally. And we don't need it anymore. The Airstream, take out my Mims. He does take out my Mims. We work out for a trick room. I'm trying to think, do we have a shot at this? We do have best, but he is physical attack, which kind of hurts. Finally, the Paralyze comes out when we did not need it anymore. Fusion Flare flying. I love his move, though. That's so sick. 
And I love how it just like slowly goes into the Pokemon and then explodes. I think it's so good. I, I really do. I really do like that move. Our sunlight does fade off. Can just genes have a shot at this? Probably not, right? Uh oh, it was way too bulky. I'm just gonna run this battle. We all know it's over. GG to our opponent. We are now one and one. Let's hop to a third and final battle. Look for a winning record. Final match coming at you guys. Going up against a Gyarados team with Yveltal and Dialga as restricted Pokemon. He also has Incineroar, and then he's got either Defiant or Prankster Thunderous, or in my case, both of them. <laughs> and then, uh, what is it? Final Pokemon's gonna be Landers with it for two Intimidate Pokemon. So Intimidate could definitely do us dirty. I could bring out Blastoise. Blastoise could be nice. I kind of do like Blastoids here. Blastoids is super effective up against a lot. So you know what? I'm going to lead the Blastoids. And I'm going to bring in the Mims. I'm going to try to pop a Trick him again. And then bring in Reshiram and Calyrex. I just think it's a smart play. I think it's definitely the, the two that we should rock out with. And get rolling from there. So maybe Dynamax and Blastoids turn one could be solid. I can pop a Hydra Can. I can pop an Ice Move. I won't be affected by Intimidate because I'm special attacking. I think it's solid. I think it's solid. Let's see who, who he wants to lead. I think he has to lead an Intimidate Pokemon, right? Maybe not, because you could think of my, uh, I have Defiant on my way. You can see Alga and Thunders. I'm cool with this. I think it's just an easy Dynamax for me into the, uh, we do have Wakombat into the Thunders. Into Thundo. Would that be Prankster? That could be a Prankster one. That could be annoying if you, hmm. I'm still going to go for this. I'm going to go for Trick Ramir. I'm going for Trick Ramir, and I'm going for this, uh, Hailstorm. This is my Dynamax move. It could be annoying if he's Prankster to your impulse to me. That could definitely do me dirty. That could definitely do me dirty, but we're going to hope not. We're going to hope not, but every time I hope something's not going to happen, it'll always happen. So I'm prepared for this eerie impulse. He Dynamax as well? Yeah, dude, there's the eerie impulse. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like this game, man. Game. Annoys me. <laughs> Flash cannons flying here. We're minus two now. I just want the new game to come out already. I just want it. Just give it to me. Give it to me. I've been seeing like on my TikTok page or my 40 you page. I've been seeing people live streaming. Dude, they think I got early copies. Like what? Give it to me. Why can't I have early copy? Look at that. We do like zero damage. Hurt my soul. Um What do we do from here? What do we do from here? Probably just drop a Hydro Cannon or G Max Can you need. Start getting some chip damage rolling out there. Probably my best bet. It's gonna Aerial Impulse me again. I hate this game. I do not like it. But I'm just gonna throw a burn over onto the Stiago then. Just so I get start getting some chip damage on them. I know it's not physical, but still. Better than a Shadow Sneak. I, a burn would do more damage overall in time. Ends up Dynamax in this Pokemon. That's fine. I mean, he's just going to Steel Spike into me. Grab a Defense Boost. And then I can roll into my, uh... I could roll into... Oh, who would... Nah, dude, this Dialga's gonna be dirty, right? This battle seems like it's alright. I'm not liking this battle one bit. I'm not liking this battle one bit. I think we're gonna get dumped on this battle. Here Impulse again. Surprise, surprise. And Willowis comes out first. Okay, that's I guess that's fine. I'll take that. But he's gonna get a defense boost here. Obviously he's going for a steel spike. And we get to go first before that Diago too. The speed's on our side in this trick room. The chop candy, it does like four and a half damage. But like we only use that to uh, add some more damage. And once you have the citrus berry, of course. There's some more HP so we can eerie impulse me again and put me at minus six. I'm gonna be minus six. How annoying is that? Seal Spike flies, we say bye bye Mim Mims. Mim Mims dead. Mim Mims is dead. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think, what can I do from here? What can Jeans do here? What can I do? The wildfire's chipping, buffets are chipping, burns are gonna go through here. Got off some nice chip damage all around. Bad. Not bad. There's a little bit of burn damage too on that thing. <laughs> They're slowly chipping away on Diablo, but I do not want to go on the restaurant because he can eerie impulse me. I think I might just protect this, uh. I might just protect this, uh. What is it called? 
protect this steel spike, proc weakness policy, and then get off as much damage as I can. But it seems like our best bet. Let's swap here too. I think swapping and protecting is gonna be my my best play. Because like if we leave blasters in here, he he he's not doing much. Swapping is definitely our play. He's gonna finally be going for lightning boot, but but I feel like he's going for another eerie impulse, which kind of sucks because I have rush ram out here. Rush ram special attacking, her soul. Maybe he won't do it. Let's see what he does. Just for scary face this time. Okay. So he slows down here. That kind of sucks. Because now we... Mm, that kind of hurts his soul. Kind of screws up my whole plan. Kind of screws up my whole plan. Now he's slower. Now he can KO me whenever he wants. This game, man. So I wanted him to proc my policy. Just so we can get off more damage. I should have... Now, if we would have went into a move this turn, we would have died. This one's tough, man. This game's tough. Told you, it's not looking good for us. We're getting ripped on in this battle. He's getting ripped on in battle number three. Well, at least my canyon needs doing some damage here. At least my canyon needs slowly picking up some damage. How much damage all those chips are doing? They're doing a lot. They're doing a lot. But uh, obviously, I think I want to go for Earth Power here. If we can get off a high horse, but actually, I'd rather go for a glacial lance at this point. But yeah, this is this one's a tough one. This one's definitely a doozy for us. We still have blast suits in the back end, but I think it's just your impulse is my rest ram, right? Kind of hoping he doesn't. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't. Is that we need a rest ram if we want a shot at winning this game? But if he was smart, he would just pop an eerie impulse into me. Withdraw he withdraws on us. Bold move. Bold bold move. Real bold move. Yeah, just probably slow us, right? I mean he wants to intimidate, that's fine. Maybe he thinks Regram's physical attacking. Glacial Lance does come out here first. That's pretty big. It's pretty big. That is pretty big. I'm not gonna lie. That is pretty big. That is huge, honestly. That is huge, honestly. Yaga's gonna worm win. Don't take out my Reggie. You take out my Reggie! You take out my... I'm still plus one with Calyrex. You take out my Reggie, dog. Not my Reggie. And it is super good to know that my Calyrex is slower than this Diago still. Look how much damage the chip's doing. It's how many turns left to trick him. Trick him might be, be gone. Might have one more turn left. But if Diago protects, he's dead. Just gonna go down to the buffets and all that good stuff. The blast weight's back out and about. Coming in hot. Toys. What's well, it free? Glacial Lance is free too. He could have Sucker Punch, which could be a pain. This battle is gonna be super close. How many turns left? Trick him. It is one. He's got pick, and there's one more turn left in Hail. Oh no. Burn's probably not gonna pick up the KO. I gotta go for a Blizzard though. I could fake out. I'm gonna fake out the Yveltal here. Gotta fake out the Yveltal. Withdraws Yveltal. Don't in Thunderous here. That's fine. Should be double KO. If he doesn't protect the out, it's double KO. I think we're winning. We have a huge shot at winning. We have a huge shot at winning. We're plus three back on the college. This was not looking good for us at all. What happened that we just magically took power over this game? We're back to plus three with that double kill because we went weakness policy proc for plus two. Intimidate for minus or plus one. Then he worm win for he worm win for zero. We went back to even and then we have three kills. So we're plus three. I mean I can check it now, but I like doing doing keeping track of it in my head. We're plus three and from here, I feel like blizzards are cool. I just think might have sucker punch, right? Or no, and obviously that's dark Let's see Calyx. He's gotta be plus three, right? 
Man, I definitely want to go for Blizzard. What would Mist do? It takes off all things. Hmm. Obviously Blizzard. We're going to go for the land on the Blizzard. I could go for a Trick Room. Maybe he goes for a Sucker Punch. Let me just Trick Room it. Bat play. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead to that regardless. So, we're dead. I went for a Trick Room. Blizzard. I need you land in here. I do need you land in here. I know you're 70 actually, but I need you to be my friend today. Blizzard does land. Can this do half? Not even close. We're going to need a lot of Blizzard swings. Give me a freeze. No freeze. Womp womp. What would do more damage? Would Hydro Cannon do more damage? 150 goes up to 225. It actually Hydro Cannon does do more damage, but I can't move next turn. Hydro Cannon does a tad bit more damage. He's, yo, you coward! You coward! Hit me with snarls. That snarl does a lot of damage though. I'm gonna end up losing this. Blizzard misses. We need a freeze. We need a freeze. We need a freeze and a crit. Like, just give me some crazy RNG here. You know, freeze and a crit. Snarls me again. Go for a cooler move, dude. I mean, with something cool. Doing so much damage. Yo, Dark Aurora on the Yvelta is crazy damage. Blizzard comes in here. We need a crit and a freeze. Give me a freeze. Give me a freeze. Give it to me. Freeze him up. No freeze. Uh, we might be able to eat up another snarl. Kind of close. What I would need would be like a crazy. Oh, no. And then he just uploaded him with me. We should be able to eat this up, right? We do. We get a free focus ash pretty much. But he gets back a ton of HP. And I miss my blizzard. My last chance right there. We miss it. But hey, it's 70% actually. I didn't expect much from that. But solid third and final battle. Thought we were going to end up just getting like swept there. But we came back and made it really, really close. Great set of matches for today's video. I want to give one last huge shout out to Dragonair Jordan for making this team and sending it over to me. Absolutely loved it. Wish we could have grabbed ourselves a winning record. But hey, I feel like all the battles all around were solid. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.